Alright guys and gals, today's a special day. You get two walkthroughs. Two! Two all together. And this one's really fun. Uh, not that uh, the shack wasn't, but uh, the shack was a pretty straightforward escape game. This one's kind of interesting in that it's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying in every way possible. Here's what we're dealing with in this picture right here. And uh, we got a butcher in the front seat and uh, seems legit free ice cream and this theme music. Yeah, we're in for a ride. This is... Okay, I'm gonna mute that. This is free ice cream from Gameshed.com. And, uh... It's a sort of survival, horror, escape kind of thing going on. Our favorite. Our favorite kind of game. Sickingly our favorite. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, knock that bourbon off the shelf. And in case you're wondering, no, he said nothing coherent at all. And uh, so we use that broken glass to get ourselves free and out of this freak's house. Alright, there's a start. Now this game does get buggy sometimes, so you have to do things in a certain order. Like for instance, you have to click on the air duct first. And then the cart to wheel it over. And our constantly crying little girl that we are... We'll push it over so that we can climb it. And try to get into it, almost. Try again. Sorry, I was turning up my volume. And then when you do that, you gotta hide. Wait for it. Uh, French people. Alright, so we get to move upstairs now. And in case you're wondering, I still have the crabby uh, speaker set up, which is why you probably can't hear too much of the game over my annoying voice. Always in your head. Anyway, uh, up in the kitchen, into the cupboards, and grab the rat poison he conveniently left there. And uh, we see cat food up here, and that's for this guy slash gal in here, the cat who's sitting on a feather duster. Nasty animal. And if we look at this portrait of this very, very, very uncomfortable looking man, we see the date 1977. Of course it's a code. Of course it is. It's got to be. Come on, have you seen any of my videos? Alright, so back in here we're going to move the step stool. And go through the picture of the cupboard. That was weird. And uh, click on it again. And get the cat food. You see there, this is going. So, PETA members. Sorry, Charlies. And we're through this stool for some reason. So equip the rat poison into the dish. Followed by the cat food. And that, oh wow, that's just, no thank you at all. Okay, that's done. Oh, we need to get the duster, don't we? I guess we do, Phantom. You're the one who's supposed to be doing this. And this is what I meant by the game gets glitchy sometimes. Our girl's just completely gone. I really don't know how to, uh, one moment, please. Alright, sorry folks, we're back. Back where we started, I had to do it over again. See if we can, okay, there we go. Now we got the feather duster, without glitches. And we're going to use that, since for some reason we were just too afraid of using our hands in the butcher's house. 
and uh, we're going to put it to the hall, where it shows where we're at right now. And use the elevator. But then it gets stuck. So what do we got to do? We got to put it in the kitchen. Click off. Go to the kitchen. I'm going to try to ease off on the clicking so I don't freeze up again. And remember what I was talking about earlier? The code? 1977. And we're going to go to this far right piece of meat. And that's our friend. What's her name? Lily. Sorry, Lily. Not really sure why he chose to put her inside of the meat. Don't really want to know. Not a normal person we're dealing with here with a peg leg and all that. I'm not really sure why he's on the streets, and I'm not really sure where I'm going because I just got the key and didn't do anything with it. How about I just stop talking for a while and let you guys watch this. So we're going to use the key on the drawer to get our other views. And now, since our little girl is too afraid to deal with cobwebs or too afraid to go in the dark, Oops. We're going to put um, power to the hall and the second floor so we can use the elevator and light up the uh, upstairs. Alright. So this is a bathroom or something and it's locked so of course we're going to head that way. Oh, of course not. Land on top of him. Somehow don't kill him. But he does get back up. So you want to do this kind of fast. So yeah. Yep. He just. Okay. He just disappears. And then. We can make our escape. To the police. And cue in the creepy music again. Alright, we're going to turn that off. Alrighty, so there's your second walkthrough of the day. Very fitting for summer, although it would also be fitting for Halloween. But uh, yeah, there's that. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for playing along. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you care to join us on Facebook, the link is on the YouTube page. We're getting more members every day, and I'm happy to see that. Uh, I just had a channel comment about uh, the fact that we have an increasing amount of views by f uh, at this point over two million and so thank you for that absolutely you guys are what keeps this channel alive and keep it going so there's my sentimental spiel but in all seriousness thank you all for your continued watching thank you for playing and stay gaming I'll see you guys next time Phantom Darkness 135 is gone.